What's up, everybody? Go Burns with the latest Mafia 3 info, courtesy of both the official Mafia Twitter and Facebook pages. And this allegedly ties into the uh, case files that we've been covering, along with the trailer breakdowns, New Bordeaux Tribune, the postcards, and all that, of course, can be found in my Mafia playlist. So I looked at the uh, case files today, and so far I have yet to see anything regarding this. But that doesn't necessarily mean it won't eventually be added to the case files. Maybe they haven't got around to doing it yet. But anyways, you can find this once again at the official Mafia Twitter and Facebook pages. Wanted by the FBI, Lincoln Clay, AKA Lincoln R. Lincoln Robinson, obviously named after his adopted father, Sammy Robinson, an obvious alias that Lincoln Clay would use. This was entered into, I guess, the uh, file on uh, October 28th, 1968. Murder, interstate flight, attempted murder, extortion, and robbery. And we have a pretty cool comparison of what Lincoln Clay looked like before he went off to the war in 1964, and of course, what he looked like four years later when he got back in 1968. So you can see an obvious difference in how much Lincoln Clay grew up, you know, from the time he uh, went off and fought to when he came back. And of course, this is obvious because this happened after the incident at Sammy's where Sal Marcano, you know, killed the black mob along with Sammy Robinson, of course, his son and left Lincoln Clay for dead. That's the uh, scar that uh, you will see on him during the game. So obviously this is what Lincoln Clay looks like in the game. And that's what he looked like when he was a little bit younger and a little bit thinner, obviously. So the war really beefed him up, made him a beefcake. All right, so let's go over this description regarding Lincoln Clay. And a lot of this information might actually be new stuff regarding Lincoln Clay. Some of it not so much, others gives us a better idea regarding Lincoln Clay. His age is 23 years old. He was born January 1945 in New Bordeaux, Louisiana. Now, I want to talk about this for a moment because one of my Q&A questions coming up this week, maybe on a Thursday for Q&A 17.0, I might post it then or sooner, we'll see, uh, is uh, several of you have been asking about Joe. And I think this has been asked before, but that's okay, I'll answer it again. And a lot of people theorize that Joe might actually be Lincoln Clay's Dad. Now, I don't buy into that theory, but I could be wrong. However, there's something interesting. The uh, time doesn't really make sense. Okay, so Vito returns from the war in Mafia 2 in 1944. And, you know, for a few months or so, he is helping out Joe and Clemente before he gets arrested, which doesn't really give Joe much time to make a little trip from Empire Bay down to New Bordeaux. However, Joe could have had a little something on the side in Empire Bay and maybe she was from New Bordeaux or she moved down to New Bordeaux. We don't really know. But we do know one thing. The fact that Lincoln Clay is biracial means that if Joe is his father, which I doubt, it would be a very small world if it was the case, that means his mom had to be black. So he could have been having a fling with a nice young black woman, 1944, Empire Bay, and maybe somebody finds out about it, holds it against Joe, and he has no choice but to send her back to New Bordeaux, back to where she's from. I don't know, that's just a theory. I'm welcome to hear your two cents below in the comment section. Do you think Lincoln Clay is actually the son of Joe Barbaro? I don't think so, but that's just my opinion. Continuing, all right, so Lincoln Clay's height is six foot four, very tall. He has brown eyes. He weighs 210 pounds. His uh, complexion is medium. His build is muscular, obviously. Race, Negro, because back in the day, that's what they described black Americans as. Now it's African American. His hair is black. His nationality is American. His occupation was military service. He also has mechanic skills, bartender, scars and marks, uh, obviously. <laughs> Elongated scar on the right forehead extends over the right ear to the back of the head. So pretty obvious scar for Lincoln Clay. Remarks, he may be wearing a full beard and longer hair. So CJ, where are you 
kind of get it half right. If that's what Lincoln Clay is ultimately going to look like at the end of the game, where he has like a, a full beard, it looks like he's also going to have like longer hair. Maybe he's going to have a whole like 1960s, 70s hippie vibe going on. <laughs> he's just going to venture on up to Woodstock and chill out, right? <laughs> anyway, so I don't know. That, that could be a, a I don't know, a, a possibility of what Lincoln Clay may be looking like because apparently he's now on the run from the FBI after he did all his stuff in Mafia 3. So this is, I don't know, kind of a tad bit of a spoiler, I guess, a sign of things to come because this was set in October 28, 1968, which I would guess is at the very end of the story in Mafia 3 because it takes place in 1968 over uh, a nine-month period. So I guess he got back from the war in January 1968, and by the time the story wraps up, it's October 28th, 1968. So that's just, once again, my theory. Caution! Clay possesses an unknown number of firearms and destructive devices. He has resisted arrest by firing at police officers, received extensive military training while serving in Vietnam, considered armed and extremely dangerous, do not attempt to apprehend without adequate backup. Federal warrants were issued on August 25th, 1968 at New Bordeaux, Louisiana, charging Clay with murder, first degree, killing a federal judge. So eventually you're going to kill a federal judge in the game. Title 18 U.S. Code, Section 1111, I think. September 10th, my sister's birthday, 1968. He uh, was charged for attempted murder according to Title 18 U.S. Code, Section 1073 at New Bordeaux, Louisiana. And of course, on October 28th, 1968, they charged Lincoln Clay with possession of destructive device and possession of firearms in violation of the National Firearms Act, Title 26, U.S. Code, Section 5861, I think. And of course, uh, all this stuff, too. Okay, so if you have any inform... So if you have any information concerning this person, please contact your local FBI office. Telephone numbers and addresses of all offices listed on back. Well, there is no back, so no number. So, once again, this was listed in, um, what, uh, 10th of October? Well, October 10th. <laughs> the 10th month is October, obviously. And, of course, the 28th day of October, 1968. Okay, by Special Agent J something. At first, I thought it was McGuire, but McGuire's first name is Kenny, I think. Anyway, so there you go. Lincoln Clay officially wanted by the FBI. And it mentions no reward. So you know what? Fuck you, FBI. No reward, no snitching. <laughs> so feel free and chime in below in the comment section. What do you think about this latest bit of information regarding Lincoln Clay, a.k.a. Lincoln Robinson? And don't forget, Mafia 3 is coming October 7th to Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC.